thank you for those who um, joined into this part. Um, apologize, this box of mine is really old. Um, obviously from 2007. I was not the first owner of the box. But um, if you saw my Thrawn review, you would know that moisture damage during the 2011 Queensland floods was a bitch. And this figure also suffered it. Um, this box isn't as bad. Um, this box it looks a bit worse than the Thrawn one. But if I glue along the sides, it will actually um, stay together quite well. So I'll have to um, repair that. And I hope you, I hope you liked that little um, intro. Yeah, I wanted to do a special intro because... Let's face it, Ian McDiarmid just one of plays one of the best movie villains of all time. Like, watch episode three. I watched the prequels just because you see him and you know he's lying. You know he's got something up his sleeve, and it was so great to finally see that in episode three. Especially how well he did the Emperor after having a after having a pretty almost 30 year or 25 year break so it was um, it was great um, as you can see it doesn't have the Sideshow 30F logo on this because it's on the reverse side it's just sort in part A um, Darth Sidious Sith Lord uh, we see him preparing for the lightning hands and then on the reverse side we have him with the relaxed palms, um, kind of in that position from his um, ridiculously epic speech um, during the formation of the Empire. Um, just while I'm focusing on the box again, I'll just show you that um, the trays are the normal Sif Red. Forgot to mention that in part A. But, um, yeah, sideshow, we're quite basic with their tray, dis tray designs and if you saw my um, previous reviews you would see that they um, they all remain quite basic except for the Darth Malgus one which had a custom design um, like I said I said I'd show you those pictures in better light because the lighting down here is not the best um, I'm try and position the light so it doesn't affect there we go so yeah, as you can see, we see um, Senator Palpatine, then we um, see, see him sitting in his chair, uh, then we see the part where Anakin finds out he's a Sith Lord, then we see the um, him becoming Darth Sidious, then we see him during the Yoda battle, and then we see him sitting next to Darth Vader. And like I said before, that story there, um, this part here, so you can see it's all about Darth Sidious. And um, the top um, just talks about him being a Sith Master in disguise as Chancellor Palpatine. I'd also list the accessories that it comes with. And I will um I had a quick look over the box while I was having a break and yeah, um it that little droid does detach. That comes off the stand. You just pack it away. Yeah. Um so yes, that's pretty much it for the box, and now I bring you Darth Sidious. Look at that head sculpt. Like, that is pretty impressive for 2007. It's definitely Ian McDiarmid as Darth Sidious. Once again, the texturing on the costume is very is very basic. Um, it's not really a felt, but it's a lighter material. Um, it's a lighter fabric. Um, then we get the under dress, um, which is kind of like a. It's a really light, maybe like a. a I suppose a fancy doily like material. Um, in the, you probably can't see it that well. I'll see if the light makes it a bit better. Yeah, there you go. You can see that it's um, it's a completely different fabric. Um, and then the rest is um, a lighter, um, kind of like a swimsuit material, I guess. Um, now, 
This guy doesn't have anything under the under the robing, and as you can see, it kind of does stain the body, but that I suppose it doesn't matter because, like I said, it's 2007. They probably never thought of it. You wouldn't remove it anyway. Um, I'll just say the really the only really annoying thing about this figure is that yeah, if you try to do anything really dynamic and the uh, the robe lifts, yeah, you lose the um, so it kind of takes away from the figure a bit. Um, then we've got this black fabric here and wired hood. Um, this is probably one of the best wired hoods I've ever seen. Um, probably because it's, I don't know if it's just because I don't play around with this one too much, but it's real easy to pose. Um, I'll just fix it up so you see how good it gets. See, so yeah, as you can see there, the um, wiring on the hood is quite tight. Um, you can probably get it to sit a bit better than that. I just did it really quickly, um, just for the benefit of the review. Um, yeah, you can see, like, if you stand him up kind of there, yeah, it's pretty much positioned exactly like it was um, in the film, which is good. Yeah, um, like I said, they're quite basic figures in terms um, in terms of design, but I suppose like Palpatine um, or City, yeah, um, City S were um, quite basic things. Like I said, the design is there. Um, the intersection, yeah, like the complex design is there um, in this one. It's just a shame that there was nothing underneath it to um, let you do some more dynamic poses. Um, but I'll move on to accessories. So you got, um, like the Chancellor version, um, exact same black display stand. So you do get two display stands, one for the Chancellor, one for Darth Sidious. Um, so um, it's pretty good they did that, so you can display them side by side if you really want to. Or, like I said, um, you can display Return of the Jedi, Palpatine, um, in a Return of the Jedi setting, CDS with a Yoda, and um, a chance of our same Mace Window. So you can have um, a, lot of a lot of variety there. Next. Um, we get a kind of I suppose not really relaxed, but I'd say more like a more of a taunting hand. Yeah, maybe um when he's waiting for that applause, um when he's waiting for an applause or something, he might raise his hand up like that. I'm not too sure. Um, we get a hand for holding a lightsaber. And what I found very cool is it's a different lightsaber. Um, the lightsaber he uses against Yoda is not the one he pulled out um, against Mace Window. This one um, has a black and black, gold, and silver design, as you can see there. Um, so that's pr that's pretty cool. As opposed to having just the silver and gold, it's a more, um, there it is, ignited, it's a more, um, Sith look. Um, I actually, um, because I keep these guys in the box, I give my, um, Return of the Jedi Palpatine this lightsaber when you're sitting on the throne, um, just, just for the fun of it. I thought it's quite cool. Um, now, we also get an early design of Sith Holocron. Um, I think they look quite different in the 2008 Clone Wars series. Um, I know he does get Cad Bane to retrieve one, but um, it might be a Jedi Holocron that's in Clone Wars actually. Not that it matters because, um, like I said, this is 2007, so before that series. Um, it's pretty cool that we get a Sith artifact um, that he can display in his office, I guess. Um, now this being the exclusive 
um, we get a statue of um, a Sith. I'm not 100% I'm not sure which Sith this is. I do remember um, it does say in the sideshow um, description for the figure. Um, I just can't remember. And I think we see this in his office. I'm not 100% sure, but if he had it in his office, surely someone would have noticed. Hang on, you've got a Sith bust on your desk, so maybe he didn't. I don't know. But yeah, it's um pretty cool. It's got a nice bronze. It's quite heavy for such a little for such a little piece. Not that it's stone or anything, it's just um just weighted nicely. So yeah, um that's him for accessories. He also has a new little hand that I will display him with. He has his pair of lightning hands. Um, which is why I guess they didn't include it with the chance like even though he uses the lightning hands, he doesn't actually use the lightning hands until he starts getting scarred. So it makes sense that they wouldn't have given it to the normal to the normal Chancellor. And um like I've said before, um with the Chancellor version, the outfit does nothing to hinder the articulation. And I shall move on to um closing comments to show that off. So here he is in a sort of lightning um, hand pose on the stand. Like I said, he does look rare. Um, the only thing I forgot to mention about the articulation with these guys um, is that because they are older figures, there's not a lot of up and down movement with the heads. There's a bit there, but um, there's not a lot. That's alright. And if I move the robe, you can see he's got his leg quite high, and um, I've bent the knee back, I've bent the knee up a lot to make it look like he's um about to take a step forward while doing the lightning. Um, so yeah, overall, they're a pretty good pack to have. Um, such an icon is Ian McDiarmid playing um, Palpatine. Um, I was so glad when he came back to actually portray um, the same character in 1, 2 and 3. The younger incarnation. Um, so yeah, I thought that was I thought that was great that they were able to um they were able to re um yeah recast him in the role. So you're just showing off the um detail on that head sculpt and um, hood again. Yeah, um, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed a look back at one of the um, great icons of the Star Wars universe. Um, I will do the Return of the Jedi Palpatine with the throne, um, as well as Darth Maul. So, yeah, um, I was just getting through these uh, flashback reviews um, as quickly as I can. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.